Hey guys, Madison Star Moon. And as you can see, they are shredding us with their airplane pollution, chemtrail madness. And it's funny that they're just doing it right by the sun. Are they chemtrailing where you are? Yes. Well, obviously, because I'm I'm where you are almost. Yes, it is. Um, we got trail mix. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> so. I mean, don't you think it's disgusting? I mean, you're my friend. Tell everybody what you think about what's going on in our sky right now. I just basically worry about how much my main concern is not getting enough UV rays that are going to keep me from having the winter blues. Yeah. You know, I check the UV in index um, from time to time, and I notice that it's a little bit lower than it used to be. Like, I'm going to tell this guy. Hold on. Let me tell this guy about chemtrails. Okay. Hello there. Do you see the sky right now? Do you know what they are? Chemtrails. They're chemtrails. No, ma'am. I'm not talking to you. <laughs> Did you see that? Did you just see that? He said, no, ma'am. I'm not talking to you and walked away as soon as I said chemtrails. <laughs> wow. They train these guys good. Did you guys see that on Facebook and Facebook land? Did you just see that guy? He said, no, ma'am. I'm not talking to you as soon as I said chemtrails and walked away. Wow, guys. We're fucked. <sighs> Jesus, these guys are like literally minions. They don't even have brains anymore. Well, and it's he's, not. It doesn't. He's it, working they're... on the road. He's over there working on the road. It's not like he's some high-ranking politician that it will affect his job in any way. <laughs> and yeah, you know but... what? And you know what? He knows what chemtrails are because as soon as I said it, he got all shady. It would be different if he was like, "Hmm, chemtrails. What are those?" Or, or to say, "Oh no, those might be contrails." No, ma'am, I'm not talking to you. Wow, guys. Oh, I'm not going to say your name, person on the phone. That's my friend. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, but but they, he must have got the memo on you. <laughs> <laughs> like, like everybody else. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God, girl. I don't know what we're going to do. This is just a hideous disgrace. Why would you defend this? And why would someone... Because they think they're going to be dead before it affects them. And maybe they just don't care about the future of others kids plants animals why how i don't know that that was that was that was actually good i'm glad he did that he just showed his ass i wonder if a cop would do that you know well remember the one cop i don't know if you saw the video did you see the video where i approached the cop and tried to get her to take a report no but most of the time they do entertain um ideas about stuff like that i mean I've never personally confronted, but I mean, I've, I've, uh, the only people I've ever really confronted that are official is a pilot that I met in a bar. And, um, his comment on it was, it's not going to affect me because I won't be around by the time it has an effect. So that's how I think that most people feel about it. If they know. That's so creepy. It is. I mean, I'm beyond creeped out at this point. I mean, you it's know, like some Luciferian shit. Yeah, and it really is, dude. It is, and it's scary. Yeah, we live in a very Luciferian community over here. <laughs> yeah, the Commonwealth of Freemasons, which I made the them all hate of, you. Don't piss off the wrong person. <laughs> oh, I always piss off the wrong person. In fact, I think that's kind of my shtick. Is what? <laughs> what is the most dangerous person that I should not fuck with? Let me go ahead and call them and blast them out and put them on YouTube. Oh, God, there's nothing more dangerous than a humiliated government official. <laughs> yeah. Well, right, right now I have the city that's, uh, I'm already getting threats from family members of the uh, Roundup sprayers that I talked to the other day. Oh, gosh. Yeah. I don't see how stupid people can be with that. Yeah. I mean, they literally have, like, commercials about suing Roundup. Yeah. <laughs> yep. I actually posted that on Facebook, I mean, on YouTube and Facebook. Um, the commercials, and then I did my little thing. But I'd rather clean up shit than spray Roundup. Yeah, but see, why is it? Why is it that when I call the city about it, I'm the only one that's called? Out of every single environmentalist, or this, look at this thing. Oh, I saw one oh, person on, chasing look at that. a spray person, but it was probably you. That's pretty cool. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I want to get the action of the thing. Oh. Oh, 
it's the little things that thrill me in the world. It's just weather that's making me happy. It's actually nice out. <laughs> Here, I'll put you on my YouTube video. I like that smile. You got a great smile. Yeah, it's like every direction. Oh, look, and then the dude, is that the same fucking dude? There's no way that dude fucking followed me. Over. Is, that, that, is that the same motherfucker? That's the same motherfucker, and he just went over there and talked to them when I said something. I'm going to have to look, I'm going to have to review this video and see <laughs> if that is the same guy, this guy right here. Yeah, I'm not going to talk to you, lady. Look, they're spraying again over that way. And it's windy today, so it's just going look, everywhere. Look, it's the same. It's the same guy right here. That is the same guy. It is nosy, busybody ass. Had to come back over here and tell the man, "Don't talk to her." <sighs> and this man was all nice and smiling. Now he won't even look at me. Now he can't talk to me because his boss came over and said, "He's a conspiracy theorist. Don't talk to her." Oh God, what a fucking day. The day just yeah, they sprayed um, our entire, like, main road, not in my neighborhood, but the main road off of my neighborhood the other day, and the whole, oh my god, the whole, like, area smelled like chemicals. Wait, were they sprayed for what? Like, some type of fertilizer. Okay. You know that, you know when they spray that green stuff all over the grass? Yeah, that's Roundup. It, oh, okay, well, yeah, they sprayed that shit all down the main road and i mean for like days that's all i could smell that's awful. disgusting yeah you can taste it you yeah. know oh yeah and like the mosquito trucks the, per uh. the permethrin like you can definitely smell that forever you know me and me and, you saw the i showed you the mosquito video no yeah well i've actually exercised bes uh, behind one of those by accident one night and then like two days later i could still smell the smell coming out of my pores oh yeah. that's gross <laughs> but i said earlier i said i've only seen one person chase after the um spray guy in my neighborhood hey say hi to my friend peter real and quick. it was probably you <laughs> hey say hi to my friend peter real quick he's my bestie on facebook hi peter peter we love you even though she doesn't know who you are if i love you then she loves you too you can be bestie number two yeah you're, you're, <laughs> yeah he's bestie number two you're bestie number one <laughs> <laughs> oh shit well, it's good. I'm glad you got to do a Facebook live with me and, sweet yeah all, all this exciting stuff going on all around this genocide <laughs> I, I was just speaking with one of my clients about it I mean I, I don't I have to be kind of a little bit vague you know to a degree with, right. with, with certain clients I'm not going to say who or what but what reason why oh look then we turn here oh more chemtrails now look now, now it looks like it's clear, but then you look over here and you can see what they're doing. But if you go this way, it looks clear. This is what the sky is supposed to look like. And it's obvious that they're intentionally targeting areas of the sky to spray. Yeah, because probably because it's where all the government workers are with the high, with the pensions and they got to get rid of those people. <laughs> <laughs> like spraying over the neighborhoods where it's like everyone, you know, is getting a big check when they... When they croak or, you know, I mean, before they croak, sorry. Yeah. Oh, yeah, they want us dead. Oh, hey, John's on. Say hi to John real quick. Hi, John. Yes, John is my bestie. <laughs> John, <laughs> Stop. He is. John is my best friend. We've been best friends forever. Everybody knows that. He's, like a, he's not like a brother to me. He's like a best friend to me. Right on. Yep. A brother would be creepy. <laughs> Man. So what do you think? Is there anything else that you want to tell everybody? Anything you've uncovered with other conspiracies? Um, no, but uh, I would like to say that it's awesome that we got to go see Dick Gregory together. And you turned me on to his um, stuff. And I've been reading this book um, that he wrote before he died in 2017. And I'm going to let you borrow it. And it's like a book of essays of like he kind of rewrites history as it was really happening because he was there. And um, it's really good. It's, it's got a lot of good stuff in there. And they do touch on some environmental stuff in there, too. Yeah. And, um, yeah, but, yeah, you turned me on to Dick Gregory. <laughs> and that's, like, the coolest thing you could have ever done because he's a smart man, very smart man. Yes, and I want and, you um, to tell everybody, when we went to go see uh, his, when we went to go see his uh, show, what did he do to me? Um, well, one of the first things that he said was, and, I mean, literally, one of the first things he said when he walked out on stage, he looked at us. And we were the only two white people in there. And he said, 
I only trust about a hundred white people in this world and two of them are sitting right here yeah oh my god my body filled up with like heat and love i was like yeah. this is crazy but he totally put me in his act i was the butt yes. end. i was the butt end of all of his jokes he was asking me what do you do for a living and and all this and making making jokes about activism and and doing little it, it wasn't he wasn't he was joking. very humble he was very he humble. was awesome he was awesome the way he did it and he said that he wrote a book a best-selling book called oh, hold, hold on hold on i'm gonna say he wrote a best-selling book called in dot 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 you know what the word is and he he kept saying it and everything like that and he's like he's like coming on now what and he points to me and he goes now what was the name of that book that i wrote and i was like uh-uh uh-uh oh. i ain't saying it he's like come on it's just it's my best-selling book what's it called like, no way in like, hell no, no, no. <laughs> Yeah, he was he was totally awesome and we saw him right before he died. I know. It's crazy. God, we were so lucky. Mm -hmm. So fucking lucky. Yep. So I'm going to let you borrow this book as soon as I'm done with it. It's just I keep rereading some of the essays in there cuz they're so interesting. I like the way it's broke down into like different essays on different um kind of like different conspiracies, you know? Yeah. Oh so. god, the sky is fucking horrible in this direction. I want to go back the other direction. Oh, daddy. It's fucking wretched. Oh. Yeah, it is kind of all building in one area, but where I'm, I've got a tic-tac-toe board and, uh, right in front of me Uh huh. right now. And then over to the left, it's, I've got a triangle. <laughs> and yeah. Yeah. I mean, we, we shouldn't have any of this garbage. Well, I'm getting ready to go to the hospital to work for my next shift. So do you want me to give you a call when I get done? Yes, please do. It's a beautiful day to get sprayed in the neighborhood. Madison Starman reporting to you from Virginia, where they have just set out a fleet of chem tankers to spray us down. You can see it strategically going right over the sun. Okay, so here we have two back here. Let me get in on them. Okay, where is he? There's this guy right here. Here he is. And then we've got one going, look, right above him. Look at this guy. He's wasting no time to get some action in there. And they're crisscrossing over this X. Hold on, guys. This is actually harder than it looks. Look at that. Ooh. As close as I can get. I think I lost it. Hold on. Boy, this is hard. The setting that I have my phone on, it's hard to do. But anywho, you get the point. I don't have to convince you guys of anything. I can't see what I'm recording at all. The sun is directly right in my eyeball. There it is. This is some shoddy ass photography, guys. I'm sorry. I can't see. I mean, I'm facing the sun. It's blinding me. Oh, well. I'll end it on that. Good God. Look at the sky today. We are completely shrouded in chem filth. I mean, this is devastating and horrendous. And this is why people should be saying, I can't breathe. Because who the fuck wants to breathe this garbage in? It's so fucking wicked. And insidious. Oh. All right. I've got to go to work or else I would sit here and show you the layers and layers. Look at this. Just look at that picture, guys. Are you cool with this? I know you're not. No one on earth could be cool with this. All right, take care, guys. I'll keep you posted. I am bearing witness to the largest chemtrail I have personally ever seen.
The entire sky is an abomination against Christ. Look at this Kimbo. Okay. Look at that shit pop off. The sky is a petri dish of poison and God knows what. Just look at this. Unflippin' believable. No humanity at all in this. Look at this disgusting monster with the Kemba right underneath. Oh. What a fucking nightmare. Hey guys, here I am again. The scalar ripples are ripping through these clouds of frequencies. What a disgrace. I mean, it's just a chemical soup. It's all tearing apart like cotton candy. And that baby is sick. Oh, and there they go over the sun. You can see the black line above the chemtrail. I mean, I should never have to convince anybody with footage like this. I mean, this. And it's moving. Look at this. This part of the sky is just split in half. Half chemtrails that are tearing apart. It's so deliberate. And the scale of the waves pumping throughout this chemically contaminated atmosphere. Oh, it's so scary. Freak fest. Oh. All righty, just keeps getting better. I can't see what I'm recording, sorry. Ooh, blob. Here's another chem blob right here. Look at this cloud. Looks like an evil face, demon face. Man, it's hard to do this. Look at that devil face. All right, still not so bad. I mean, I'm complaining. Look at this shit right here. Good God. Where those two chemtrails are mixing together. It's fucking gross. It was gonna be so beautiful. I mean, it's still beautiful, but gotta look past the chemtrails. All right, I'll keep you posted. Toxic pollution trails. They've been spraying all morning. Start 
come together